Hey, Josh. Nice, uh, nice performance to say the least. Um, what, Thank you. Yeah, what a uh, crazy day, though. Uh, so, if you can kind of wrap your head around everything, the the delay, the thirty-two minute delay, for your sake, how how that sort of affected things, and how you uh, were able to base you and your teammates shake that off and and do what you did. Well, I mean, it starts with the leadership that we have here. Um, you know, it starts from the top down and. And our head coach and making sure in locker room we were doing the right things. We weren't, we weren't getting, uh, you know, getting tight, getting stiff. Um, we were staying loose in there, and um, you know, we had we had a good day today. You know, and the offense had to pick it up. Um, you know, we got a little sluggish there in the third quarter, and you know, a couple of throws that I wish I had back. Um, but at the end of the day, we got a victory, and that's really, that's all that matters. And uh, if I could ask you one follow up as far as uh, the, the the aggressiveness of this offense, two weeks in a row and you really kept the foot on the pedal the whole way through. Was that just, was that a mindset that developed in the course of the game? Was it, was it an attitude that you had in preparing for the game plan and all, and all that? I, mean, I think it's an attitude that we, we just have. Um, you know, we believe in our, in our playmakers here. And, um, you know, Coach Sable is not the one to shy away from, from putting the ball in my hands. Um, you know, but our, our five did a great job in protection. Um, our backs, our tight ends did a great job as well. Our guys got open. They made plays undrafted free, uh, you know, undrafted rookie free agent, um, you know, scoring a touchdown. Uh, we had Gabe Davis on a third down, fourth or fifth round pick rookie, um, making big plays when, uh, when we needed it. So when you got guys that can step up and, and fill roles and um, make plays with that they did, uh, that's huge for a team's success. And again, um, there's going to be games where the offense has got to step up, and today was one of those days. Did, are the long ball accuracy questions done now? Are we done with that? Uh, I'm asking you. I, I would say, uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Josh, Chris Brown, uh, nice game today. I want to focus on after you guys went down on the scoreboard and having to an answer there in the fourth quarter. So um, you think about, and I realize every game is different, but you think about week one where you guys made great use of a short to intermediate passing game. And then here when the chips are down, I mean, you're just going big play after big play on the last two scoring drives. Was that just what they gave you? Was it just Diggs winning early and Brown winning early? Just maybe talk about the contrast between last week and going for all the marbles here on the last two scoring drives. Yeah, I mean, I really think it starts with preparation. Um, we had a great week of practice. Our scout team gave us a great look. Um, we had Davis Webb, who's a quarterback playing scout team safety and he's working his tail off back there and he's giving us a great look. So um, we just happened to run those plays in practice and uh, we felt good about them. Um, you know, the double move down the sideline, we, you know, we were hoping that Steph could get it and safety was to the field. I kept my eyes there and um, he had a heck of a route and got open, caught the ball, made some plays. Um, and then the next, the next play, I believe it was uh, Beasley over the middle of the field. Um, I mean, so Steph just catches a long, or long pass. The next one, he runs a short route, takes two guys, and we get to get uh, bees right behind him. So it's just selfless plays like that um, that really go a long way, and that's that's team success right there. Um, but again, we, we could have been better. We can't not get a first down when our defense makes a fourth uh, fourth down stop on the goal line. We got to we got to flip the field there um, a couple times. We let our defense out to dry, but um, again, we'll watch the film. We'll get better from it. And then the only other thing, real quick, Josh, just. Um... They mentioned it even on the television broadcast, just the success of the crossing routes. Was that something coming in where you, got, where you guys felt your guys could win there consistently? Because it seemed to be like bread and butter for you in the passing game today. Yeah. Um, again, we, we believe and we trust our guys outside. And um, I, I don't think there's many, many teams that can keep up with all of them. Uh, and, you know, that was just what was happening and uh, what was working early on. And we just kind of kept going back to it and had some success. Um, but again, teams are going to see that now, and they're going to try to figure out a way to to do uh, to sort of stop that. So um, again, we'll, we got to figure out new, uh, new ways to get our guys the ball. Thanks, thanks, nice Joe. Josh Allen, Mookie Hawkins, Ruffo Sports, uh, Ruffo Sports 1080, man, excellent job out there today. Thanks, Mook. Now, I mean, I don't know what is what is going on in these third quarters. I mean, you know, just to really get you guys in sync and things like that. It was like all seasons happening in that third quarter for you down there in Florida. But when the Dolphins took the lead, what were you telling your teammates at that moment getting back on the field? Yeah, there was no panic. It was just, uh, you know, let's go. We got to get six. We got to go put points up for our defense now. And um, 
Again, our guys were cool, calm, and collected, and we just kind of went out there and, and did our jobs, and that's really what it comes down to is executing um, when our name's called. And uh, we had a bunch of guys go do that today, and a bunch of guys got open. They caught the ball when they needed to. And, um, again, I, I said it once before, but you you got to give credit to Gabe Davis and Reggie um, for making plays, you know, when their name was called as rookies. You know, Reggie being an undrafted guy, I mean, um, to come in there and, and do that and make a play at the at the goal line, catch a ball there, that's that's huge. And again, it gives the offense juice. Um, you know, we love seeing seeing guys that are the underdog score. Um, but you know, that's a guy that's worked his tail off, and he deserves to be here, and he deserves every bit of it. Now, uh, coming in, the biggest question this season was consistency in the offense. And these last three games, if we want to count that scrimmage, man, you know, the past three games, you've been over seventy percent in clip, over three hundred yards. I mean, how much fun were you out there having today in this offense? It's a lot of fun. Um, you know, we got guys that are true professionals, know how to work, um, know how to get open. Um, you know, and again, hats off to our five guys up front, protecting all day. I, I had I had some good time back there to make some good decisions and allow our, our guys to go make some plays. So, um, again, it's, it's a total 11-man effort on the field. And, um, you know, we had some success today, but there were still quite a few things that we need to learn from and clean up. Absolutely. Hey, man, fantastic job. Keep it up, baby. Thank you. Hey, Josh, how you doing? Can you hear me? Yep, I got you, Marcel. I always got to ask, but uh, um, yeah, kind of going off of uh, kind of going off of Mookie's question there. Uh, I think the cameras caught you after you missed digs or, or miscommunication, something. Just kind of like smiled and and tapped your chest. Uh, you just kind of look more comfortable in this offense. And so, I mean, would that be is that fair? Is that accurate to say that an offense that puts four receivers constantly on the field really suits your your skill set? Um, I mean, I, I guess you can say that, but I think we had some good success in half personnel with, with our tight end in the game as well. Um, I just I just love it. We got guys that, that work hard, um, that they study their playbook, and when their name's called, they make plays, and I think you saw that today. Guys that, you know, you might not think of. Um, but, again, we got, we got some true professionals here, and the leadership from the top of our organization down to the bottom, I think, is all – um, pretty set in stone and um, you know everybody's on the same page here and you know at the end of the day as long as we're winning that's all that matters and kind of following up on that uh, I think you're one of now four quarterbacks in in NFL history who've thrown for 700 yards six studs no interceptions in the first two weeks of the season uh, that obviously is a lofty a lofty goal a lofty expectation but is this more or less what you and this offense expected to be able to do over the first two games to throw the ball this proficiently without the off season, without a preseason? Um, I mean, like I said, we, we got a lot of faith in our guys to, to go out and get open and catch the ball. And, you know, I was saved a few times um, from interceptions today and there's a couple that could have gone the other way. So um, I got to be better on that. Um, but again, you know, as long as we're moving the ball, we're scoring when we need to score um, and keeping our defense off the field for too long, that's, that's all that matters for us. Uh, thanks, Josh. Thank you. Hey, Josh, good to see you. Thanks for doing this. Uh, you've kind of answered this a little bit in some of the other questions that you've been asked, but when's the last time you've played with this much confidence? Um, I mean, I, I feel like I've always played with a lot of confidence. Um, but in terms of, of knowing my playbook, knowing protection, um, you know, knowing or expecting where my guys to be, you know, it, it goes hand in hand, though, with how hard that they work and how hard we prepare. And it goes back to the scout team look that we get during the week. Um, you know, we had a bunch of guys that, care about their craft and continue to work hard. And again, it's a, it's a complete team effort. But um, to your point, just the comfortability or um, whatever you want to call it of, of the offense, it's it's really good right now. And, um, you know, Coach Sable is doing a good job of calling these games. And it's up to us to go out and execute. It's not really about the X's and O's. It's about the Jimmy and Joe's. So, um, you know, that's what Coach Sable preaches to us. And whatever he, whatever he calls, we go to try to make right. Was there a moment in the fourth quarter when it kind of clicked like, yeah, we've got this, whether it be the deep ball to Diggs or whether it was the touchdown to Davis, was there kind of a moment after you made one of those plays where you like, you kind of said, okay, we got it. Um, I mean, I, I don't think there was really one play, but I think, I think we thought all along that uh, we knew what we can do on the offensive side of the ball. And um, you know, a couple of times we, we cut it short and, you know, we, we really beat ourselves, um, you know, in that late second, early third quarter. So uh, we knew we had to pick it up, um, and we did. And again, Coach Dable called a great, great game, and we went out there and executed. And um, you know, our defense uh, got some stops when they needed to, and uh, we were able to play good situational football there. Thanks, the Josh. Part. Thanks, man. Yep, thank you. Hey, Josh. How about Butler from UPI here? How's it going? 
Good, how are you? <laughs> good, good. Um, I wanted to talk to you about that run you had just before the half. You ran over a couple of Dolphins players, and can you just talk about that that mentality you have when you when you look your head up and you see a couple linebackers coming at you, and then what do you think those kind of runs do for your team from an energy standpoint? Um, you know, it's it's probably not the smartest thing to do. Um, I slid early on, probably should have slid there, but um, I'm I'm. I want to do whatever it takes to do to win, uh, and that's that's always been my motto. That will forever be my motto. And uh, it was a third down. I was trying to get a first. Um, I got to be smart with the ball. I knew they blew the blew the whistle, but I got to still hold on to that ball. And um, again, it was just a play that I saw and I tried to make. And um, you know, I'll I'll take myself. You know, a lot of if not every time. Can you talk about how you've grown as a as a passer? I mean, even this season, you're only through two games, and today you're just throwing the ball all over the field. Can you just talk about where you feel like you are in your development yeah. overall? Yeah. Um, I mean, I think this off season we worked really hard. Um, there's a lot of people behind, you know, what's what's going on behind the scenes, uh, just trying to make things right. Um, but again, I think it goes to the knowledge uh, of the offense, knowing your protection, um, knowing what can hurt you, knowing your answers. If you see something. And getting yourself out of a bad situation. Uh, I think that's the job of the quarterback is not to get in the right play every time, but to get out of wrong plays uh, when you see them. So, um, you know, it's it's been a group effort here, and uh, we're, we we got to continue to. There's still some stuff that we missed and left out there, and we got to be better on that end. Um, so we'll learn from it tomorrow and, and move on to next week. Thank you, Josh. Yep. Thank you.